Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Friday, November 30th, 2018. I'm Fredicia Liburd. Through difficulties to the stars was the theme for the 45th annual graduation ceremony of the Jindaland Secondary School held on Thursday, November 29th at the Eden Brown Church of God. Past student and teacher of the school, Azuri Liburd Brown, in delivering the keynote address, spoke on the day's theme. It was through some difficulty that each of you were born. Whether your mom had a natural birth or a C-section. When our difficult times come, the temptation will be there to turn back or to give up. I remember being in labor with my first daughter and wondering at that point if it was too late to turn back. <laughs> Graduates, you are here today in part because you did not turn back, nor did you give up. As you sit there, you are faced with questions about tomorrow. While we all have a deep desire for life to always occur exactly as we wish, in reality, it is not so. For the third consecutive year, the Gingerland Secondary School has been the top performing school in St. Kitts and Nevis. The valedictorian of the 2018 graduating class was Thalia Doerr, who received the best results on the island. Doerr attained 11 subject passes with 8 grade ones in the Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate CSEC examinations. In delivering the valedictory speech, Doerr gave words of advice to her peers. My fellow graduates, today is more than just a graduation from high school, but rather the end of a significant milestone. Aristotle once penned the words, the roots of education are bitter, but the fruits are sweet. This is truly evident in our success today. Graduates, be honest, don't you remember the sleepless days, sleepless nights, whole heap of rough world where you walk through? If you don't remember, ask Amber. Look at us now. We are here relishing in the joy and pride of reaping the rewards of seeds we planted years ago. Achieving excellence is a habit and not an act. Ask yourself daily if what you're doing today is getting you closer to where you want to be tomorrow. The door received grade ones in agricultural science, biology, Caribbean history, English A, electronic document preparation and management, human and social biology, mathematics and textiles, clothing and fashion. The Salutatorian Award was presented to Jelani Manners. Manners attained 10 subject passes with 6 grade ones. Amber Adams, Nicola Nisbet and Aaliyah Powell also received honorable mention for attaining 10 subject passes. The graduation and awards ceremony was held under the patronage of Mr. and Mrs. Chesley Manners. 41 graduates received certificates, prizes and awards presented by the patrons. A number of government officials were present at the ceremony including Junior Minister of Education, the Honorable Troy Liburd, Area Representative the Honorable Eric Evelyn and Senior Minister in the Federal Government, the Honorable Vance Amory. The Health Promotion Unit is having a series of activities as it observes World AIDS Day 2018 under the theme, Know Your Status. Every year on December 1st, United Nations agencies, governments and civil society join together to campaign around specific themes related to AIDS. The first one is the TB sensitization workshop, which is being held today. We also have the Go Red campaign, where you can take a picture of yourself wearing something red to show support of HIV awareness, and email it to hpunevis at gmail.com, and we'll post it on our Facebook page. We also have the Tree of Hope, which is on our Facebook page, where you can write a message showing support for persons who are living or would have pass due to complication of HIV and AIDS. On Tuesday, the Health Promotion Unit will host a leadership forum under the theme, Lead by Example. We ask persons in leadership position in the community to 
attend this forum at the Navy's Credit Union on December 4th at 9 a.m. to come and hear about HIV and AIDS, rapid testing and the importance of rapid testing and knowing your HIV status and for them to also do an HIV test so persons can see the process for the rapid testing. We also have the rapid testing services which will be at various health centers the following week. Uh, we'll also have the HIV rapid testing service at the health promotion unit that persons can engage in at any time. Just walk in, ask for an HIV test, and you will get the service in 30 minutes or less. So you can know your status. Be empowered, save a life. Meantime, rapid HIV testing will also be made available to the public from December 7th to 12th through the Community Nursing Services. December 7th at Brown Hill Health Center, December 11th at Charlestown Health Center, and December 12th at Gingerland Health Center. The service will be offered between the hours of 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. on those dates. The Customs and Excise Department in Nevis is notifying the general public of its auction sale scheduled for Monday, December 3, 2018. According to Deputy Comptroller Sinric Carey, the public auction sale will be on items that were imported on or before August 13, 2018. The sale is slated for 1 p.m. on Monday, December 3, 2018 at the Brian David Courier Facility, Main Street, Charlestown. The term of sale is strictly cash on the fall of the hammer. The public auction sale is in accordance with the Customs Control and Management Act, Chapter 20.04, Section 196. To accommodate the sale, the Brian David Courier Facility will open at 8 a.m. and close at noon on Monday. Still to come... Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry Christmas, everybody! And a Happy New Year! The details after this break. Come in. Hey, John. Hey, girl, what's up? What brings you by? Girl, I got awesome news from Inland Revenue Department. What well, awesome news is that? The only news that I get from the department is that they got to spend money. What the news be? The Inland Revenue Department is waiving all interest and your outstanding property tax bills in excess of a hundred dollars. What? What are you saying? So weird. If my interest is a thousand dollars, how much have I to pay? All you're required to pay is the hundred dollars and the outstanding tax due. If for some reason you are unable to pay your property tax in full this month, mm -hmm. the department is also offering payment arrangement plans to make settlement easier. But remember, you have to come to the department between November 1st and December 31st to qualify. In the revenue doing big things, I like it. This is mm -hmm. a great way to encourage payment and still allow the tax rate to save some dollars. So girl, look at it this way. You can use your extra $900 on the VAT reduction day in December. So be a responsible tax citizen and get your property taxes paid in full. Welcome back. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Students of the Antioch Baptist Academy Preschool brought some Christmas cheer to the office of the Premier today, Friday, November 30th. The students, their teachers, and some of their parents prayed for the Premier, the Honorable Mark Brantley, and serenaded him with a medley of Christmas carols when they visited his office. Let us thank you all for coming, for making the trip all the way over from St. Kitts, and for doing this. And many people don't know, but you do it over and over. Yeah? Uh, this has become an annual event, and I think it brings the joy of Christmas certainly to the Premier's office and certainly to the island of Nevis. I want to thank all of you, the teachers, the parents, and particularly the preschoolers who have come over and who have sung so lustily for all of us. I think that this is gonna be broadcast, of course, and I think on television, everybody's gonna see the, 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 the rising stars we have in St. Kitts and Nevis and the ability of the youngsters to sing. The Premier used the opportunity to present the school with a gift. This is a, a monetary contribution. My hope would be that you use it for whatever reason you desire. Maybe a treat for the children. 
but that's entirely up to you. So I hope it, that uh, it goes well, and I thank you very much for coming and for bringing so many people with you. Thank you. Iselma Knight is a supervisor of the school. The purpose for our visit is to spread love and the cheer, and what better way to do it than to use the smallest of children. And so we visited the flamboyant nursing home first, and then we went to Van Radio, and we came here. It's not our first time. We have been visiting here for over four years, I think, we started. And uh, we usually have a very good reception here. And the children are loved and welcomed wherever they go. And uh, so before we leave, we trust that you would have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from the Baptist Academy Preschool in St. Kitts. We just want to say thank you very much to Matt Brentley for his generous donation towards the children. Yes, it would be used towards their Christmas party and the treat. Have a Merry, Merry Christmas! A Merry, Merry Christmas! A Merry, Merry Christmas! Happy New Year! As a way of reviving the Christmas culture and spirit on the island of Nevis, the Nevis Cultural Development Foundation, NCDF, will be hosting a Christmas cultural hop on Saturday, December 1st. Chief Executive Officer of the NCDF, Jerome Rollins, made mention of what the general public should expect on Saturday. Performances by different genre of the Nevis Cultural Development Foundation, dances, masquerades, steel pan, clones, etc. And what we're going to be doing is we'll be leaving our office at Pinnies and going around the island, bringing the Christmas cheer to the people of Nevis. Rollins mentioned the various stops that will be made on Saturday and encouraged the public to support the activity. Jessops, Cotton Ground, Newcastle, Camps, Bricklin, Butlers, Top of Zion, Hanley's Road, Church Ground, Bath Village, culminating in the square in Charlestown. So this is a Saturday afternoon filled with cultural events, bringing the Christmas cheer. This is something that has been missing in Nevis for a number of years. And so the NCDF is trying to revive that culture, trying to revive that Christmas spirit throughout the island of Nevis. What I would like to say is for the people in the various villages to come on out and lend your support, support the young person, support the school children who will be performing, support those who are bringing the Christmas spirit to you, just like the old days when you had the masquerades going through the villages. Come on out in your numbers and support the children, support the NCDF, and help us to bring the culture back and bring the culture alive here in Nevis. Chief Executive Officer of the Nevis Cultural Development Foundation, Jerome Rollins. That's how we end this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Liburd. Thank you for viewing. <laughs>